Mm Sam, coming up in the month of October 2020. Please enjoy, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Pretty's plan backfires. Chloe takes measures to restore peace at home. Mogadi is happy that step one of her plans is coming together. Mogadi attempts to justify Noah's behavior to the Marputless, but things go awry. Spola makes a business proposal to Kat involving Pretty, but Kat is too protective. Sisama surprises Koloe with a kind gesture. Noah is upset when he learns about a move Mogadi made at the meeting with the Marputless. Romolao gives Sisama a gift that makes her emotional, much to his befuddlement. Pretty is angry at a reference Nimza makes about a gesture he afforded her in the past. Pretty's 21st birthday plans remain unclear, and this worries Kat. Mapitsi starts doubting the decision to get married when a relative expresses disapproval. Sisama's heart melts at a grand gesture from Koloi. The boss realizes that his plans may be scuppered. Pretty's 21st birthday causes some unexpected problems. Koloi is conflicted about difficult news he needs to deliver. Feeling cornered, Mantuli makes a jaw-dropping announcement. Mapitsi gets a glimpse of what being a Marputla bride feels like. Koloi is in for a pleasant surprise when Sisama expresses a change of heart. Mapitsi realizes that her Lobola negotiations are not going to be smooth sailing. Kwaito is stunned when Mantuli asks him to cough out money for a grand gesture she's promised to someone. Koloi and Ruth make decisions about the future of their relationship. Pretty's 21st birthday party noose keeps tightening around Kwaito's neck. Someone leaks an English question paper, and an innocent teacher takes the fall for it. The feedback from Mapitsi's family meeting leaves boss anxious. Kwaito blurts out a shocking truth to Pretty. The grade 12s are not too chuffed with the surprise twist to their mock exam. Pretty plans to meet with an ex who is still hung up on her. Stoko is given a heads up about who is trying to send her career to ruins. Boss receives a dose of good and bad news. Nimza's scathing comments in public leave pretty ashamed. Stoko's investigations confirm her suspicions. Meiki fumes at a decision made by her soon-to-be daughter-in-law. Things don't bode well for Kat when he goes to confront Nimza. A soon-to-be bride agrees to go visit her future family. Stoko is threatened with a defamation lawsuit 